Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you the zip functionality within the Python. So what zip is basically doing, it takes the different types of iterators like your list, dictionaries and all and combine them into a one. So for this example, I have two lists. List one is A, B, C, D and E, a very simple one and list two is one, two, three, four, five. So we have like five elements in both of these lists, but that's not a requirement. And I'll show you in a couple of minutes about that also. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and execute it. Now my two lists have been created. What I'll do is I will create a new list called zip list and I will do zip list one comma list two and execute that. Now, if I try to print this object what it will say that list zip at some memory location but if i want to print its values i will say list and then execute it and now you will see that it's a tuple uh, where it has combined the each of these elements into one tuple and created a uh, with the help of a zip created a zip list so this is a basic example of how the list can be done now what i'll do is i will simply copy this again and uh, what i will do in this case i will just remove two elements list one and list two i again create this is just to demonstrate that it's not a requirement that you should have the same number of elements all right now if i again use the list parameter and within that say zip underscore list what i will have is the three elements and uh, that is basically based on the list which is having the last number of elements and accordingly that zip will going to modify the list which has the bigger number of elements so this is basically an output that you can expect in case there is a differentiation between the numbers uh, number of elements within a list now after that what we can do is a reverse which is unzipping a list so what i'll do is i will say list one comma list two is equals to zip and i will then use star to unzip it zip underscore list so what we are doing here is we are taking zip underscore list this is the one that we zipped it earlier and this was the output and now we are taking this each of this output and storing it in their individual list suppose let's say that's your requirement that you want to unzip a list so you will execute that so we get a not enough values to unpack all right i think what i need to do is need to create a new one list underscore one list underscore two and now execute it all right so if i understand it now correctly it's not actually related to the new object but uh what it is basically saying expected to got zero and it may be because we have un used the elements over here and uh, what i'll do if i try to execute it again what i get is nothing and that's why probably it is saying got zero so what i'll do is i'll execute this again i will not execute this to print out or use the zip uh zip list but here i will say the unzipping and now if i see list underscore one i get abc and list underscore two i get one two three so that's the idea uh, you may get similar sort of an error and uh, if you get it then this is how you need to remove it and uh, get your list unzipped so this is about how you can zip it the different types of iterators and unzip it using the star and then providing the zip list to get your default values. And that's pretty much about it, about zip in this tutorial. And I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.